Bertrand Trent YMCA uh, has just recently celebrated its 125th anniversary. Uh, in these current times, we're delivering uh, homeless services to 52 young people that live as residents at the YMCA, uh, ages between 16 and 25. In addition, we have uh, 16 units of accommodation available for adult street homeless people and those range between 18 upwards into their 50s. We run a furniture recycling project uh, here in Burton and currently have three shops, one in Burton, one in South Derbyshire and the other in Derby. You may question, what's a YMCA doing with furniture? Actually, we're uh, helping local families uh, with affordable, good quality, essential household items and preventing over 300 tonnes of furniture go to landfill each year. We run a family mediation service and a counselling service. Uh, we also have a number of community activities that take place within the housing projects to develop both our young people and address the whole issue of homelessness. Our young people have come from a wide variety of backgrounds. In terms of uh, homelessness, there's often an issue within the family home or they've come through care or they've come through another institution like Youth Offending Service, for example. There's often a complex story that comes between behind a young person needing the services of the YMCA, and each young person has their own story to tell. But it will revolve around uh, family breakdown, uh, drugs and alcohol issues, poor mental health, uh, inability to live in the uh, family setting. In dealing with mental health, drugs and alcohol, uh, and the complexity of homelessness itself as an issue. Our services offer um, a whole range of support that would include helpful advice, guidance, uh, offering people um, f basic things like food. We run an emergency food bank service. Um, we believe in restoring dignity, so it's actually sitting down, listening, uh, spending time with that homeless person actually beginning to understand the journey that they're on and helping them um, get some stability in their lives because it's pretty difficult to find education, employment or training if one is not settled in, in the home. And we see that we do uh, a good job in settling the lives of all those people that have been homeless that come into the YMCA looking for not just a roof over their head, but vital services as well. To help progress these lives, um, there are lots of conversations that take place. There are workshops that uh, take place in restoring dignity, uh, hope, giving someone uh, an assurance that they are valued. Um, and the ethos of the YMCA believes in the person as a whole. That triangle sitting nicely above the Y in the YMCA represents body, mind and spirit. The YMCA, having existed since 1844, uh, in the 21st century, it's, uh, it's now used primarily as a brand uh, because we don't just deal with young men. We've got 70% of our young people living in our housing projects are female. Um, certainly not men. We, we've got a wide variety of people that support us and one of our eldest volunteers is 78, helping with our food bank. Wonderful lady. Uh, Christian, well, we uh, Christian ethos and uh, values we still very much believe in, but uh, we've got all uh, types of people. We've got a wonderful local uh, mosque who deliver food on a regular basis to our adult homeless centre. We work with a range of people of faith and those of none. And we believe that actually to support the development and work of the YMCA, it's very important to engage with the wider community. And we do that through local voluntary sector groups, through statutory organisation. And we've got a whole range of local businesses. We're hoping 40 businesses will participate in our annual sleep out this year. Entirely up to you. Reverend Pete Orton has been employed by the YMCA for the past six years. This is in the role as Christian Spiritual Development Officer. Um, we see the work that Pete does amongst his colleagues, um, staff across the projects and volunteers as being essential. It's like the uh, lifeline that runs through the YMCA. 
in terms of addressing the deep spiritual needs that exist within the residents, the staff, the volunteers. Pete works with our trustees, connects with local churches, connects with local businesses. This work is valuable for us in the sense that the church today uh, has got a lot of work to do outside its buildings. And Pete rides around on, on a bicycle. He uses his bike to get from A to B and he will tell us and proves it that he's most effective in working outside the church. So the YMCA is a perfect community in many respects, working with marginalized people, disenfranchised people, who actually need a hope and uh, an assurance that they've got a future. We're fortunate because he comes with a mental health background. And as mental health is a fairly big issue for us in working with our tenants, um, he comes with a greater understanding of where they're coming from, what the type of needs they have. So the conversations Pete has around bereavement, identity, uh, values, uh, direction where people are wishing to go with their lives are hugely important and uh, we find that his contribution to the YMCA and the wider community is quite phenomenal.